looks great. Um, so, um, obviously the front axle on this, if you guys didn't know, um, this originally was an independent front suspension. Um, so this was a, a, a fairly major um, project and um, honestly a huge upgrade as far as off-road capability for these trucks. Um, I like IFS too. Um, I drive an IFS truck, um, but um, the solid axle, especially for um, doing more of a crawling type um, drive is definitely um, more beneficial. Um, all right, so let's take a look inside the engine here. Oh, I already popped the hood ex exactly for this reason. So, um, probably my favorite part about this truck, and if you get on Toyota forums much or um, do much research about these engines, the uh, uh, 3.4 motor, the 3.4 liter V6 is just an awesome powerhouse. Um, huge upgrade. Um, I believe this was originally a 3.0 truck, so also a V6, but uh, let's see. Nope, it was a 22RE truck. But um, anyways, uh, so this this engine um, came out of a... Let me get this back up here. Uh, so this was out of a 98 Forerunner. Um, the motor, when it was pulled out, had 146,000 miles on it. Um, it's got about 20,000 miles on the build, so sitting right at about 166,000 miles. Uh, when the motor was installed, um, pretty much everything was redone. Um, it has a new timing belt and water pump kit, uh, new clutch, pressure, pressure plate, throw out bearing, um, new intake manifold gasket, exhaust manifold gasket, um, new exhaust manifold studs and nuts, all new belts, plugs, wires. Um, the motor was had a fresh coat of paint put on it as well. It uh, doesn't leak anything, doesn't uh, burn anything, drives great. Um, it does have the R150F 5-speed um, with the stock transfer case. Uh, clutch feels amazing, it drives great. Uh, we'll go for a ride here in just a minute. Um, but uh, yeah, I mean it's quiet inside the cab, there's not a lot of rattles. Uh, the interior is super clean, we'll get to that. Um, but yeah, this motor is great. Um, yeah, like I said, this is this is probably one of my one of my favorite parts of the truck. Uh, so let's get around onto the inside here. So just kind of looking around the truck, clean door cards haven't been cut. Nobody's put uh, you know six by nine speakers in them yet. <laughs> um, super super clean. Um, these are the um, high bolster seats, the SR5 seats. Um, really really nice uh, one of the kind of cool things that uh, you might think stupid but you know if you're into different types of interiors and how comfortable they are sitting sitting uh, um, a typical uh, low bolster seat and then come and sit in one of these for a couple hours and you can definitely tell the difference um, but the headrests are adjustable um, really really good shape not torn um, no stains no smells I mean the seats are in great shape uh, the rear seat is matching also in really really good shape uh, there is no carpet kit uh, on the floor on the interior in here um, you know small amounts of surface rust in here but nothing nothing cancerous everything looks good um, definitely something that uh, I would potentially either coat, uh, depending on what you're using this for, if you're going to, you know, be getting it dirty a lot and want something that you can wash out, um, you know, just pull these plugs out. I'd coat this with Raptor liner and um, then put that plug back in there. And then whenever you get it dirty, you can literally just pull that plug and just rinse it out. Um, it's usually what I do in camping rigs and stuff like that. But uh, yeah, center console, like I said, uh, this is the switch for the... Um, 
the rear LED pods in the back, uh, window lock, rear window up and down. Uh, it does have a Marlin crawler um, uh, knob on this one here, but it is a stock case. Um, R150F, um, five speed. Like I said, plenty of gearing, um, plenty of power, and, and plenty of high end as well to go, you know, more than 85. Um, this was an AC truck. Uh, there is no compressor or any of the components in the engine bay, so um, none of that's hooked up, but it is here, so it wouldn't be too difficult um, to get a 3.0 or 3.4 liter AC system and have that put in. Uh, but as of now, it's not, not, not hooked up. Um, got a nice little Pioneer deck in here. Uh, it's got Bluetooth and auxiliary and USB. Not exactly sure what type of speakers they are inside of here. They're not stock. Uh, maybe like Orion or something like that. I'm not 100% I'm not sure what they are, but um, actually sounds pretty decent. Um, here you got the uh, switches that I was telling you about. So the rear locker, uh, this is functioning um, for the electronic locker in the rear. These two switches are dead. Um, these were to the front locker and the compressor. Um, got your neutral safety um, off switch. This is so that you can start the truck without having to push the clutch in. Um, it's just a safety switch to make sure that it's in neutral and so you're you're physically wanting to push uh make the truck start in case it is in gear um front front led pods there had a nice cobra all-in-one um it's the sound tracker um cb radio super nice really really cool setup um so uh the gauge cluster in here is the original gauge cluster as far as i can tell um everything on the cluster well not everything so the fuel sending unit works the voltmeter works um the speedometer um the odometer um and the uh, temperature gauge uh or i'm sorry the uh, oil pressure gauge no the temperature gauge the temperature gauge works on here <laughs> uh the uh rpm gauge uh or the tachometer on here um it does not work uh, because there needs to be a 10k resistor wired in in order for this cluster to read the signal um, i do have another gauge uh, cluster that i'll be including um, and potentially even installing myself if i get around to it um, but i've got another cluster that already has that resistor wired in um, that i can either include or install um, so that this would be functioning um, and then here on the side um, on the pillar we've got a couple of gauges for oil pressure down here and then water temperature here. Um, headliner looks great. Still has all the nice paperwork up here. Top looks awesome. One small tear right there. One small one above the, the uh, roll bar in the back. Nothing bad at all though. I mean, it looks, looks awesome. Um, the truck really does have that that cool look to it. It's got a nice Flowmaster exhaust on it too, so it sounds good. But um, yeah, so I am going to uh, close the hood, strap the GoPro on my head, and take us for a drive real quick. Be right back.